But why don't you guys tell me how did you hear about the project um, and what was going on with this like photo initiative across the country? Um, so my friend Jen Rensby, she is on the board of directors for the Harp Gallery. And so she actually reached out to me, letting me know that one of their photographers that works at a lot of their events, Amy with Pez Photo, was going around in South Tampa taking photos of, you know, different families on their front porch. And she thought it'd be a good opportunity for us to get involved. Uh, she also knows that we jump at any opportunity to give our dog a photo op. So it kind of worked out perfectly. So that's how we heard about it. Yeah, and I think what's unique about this photo series um, is really capturing what we're doing across the country, which is obviously staying at home, and there are challenges that come with that. Um, so what have you guys found in your, what have you been doing to um, maximize your time at home and also, like, you know, make the most of it despite unfortunate times? Uh, well, I've been uh, cooking a lot. That, that takes up a lot of time. He's well, a great cook walking the dog he goes for three long walks a day so uh you know for me I i'm just trying to find ways to stay busy uh whereas brooke is working so she's busy with that and i'm just kind of trying to find ways to stay busy yeah cam i was gonna say um it's definitely an odd time in the sports world in terms of sports in general there's never really a pause there's always a season going on and always as an athlete i can imagine training to be done so yeah, how has that adjustment been for you, and have you found a new normal in terms of training and all of that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Brooke and I kind of, we, we talked in mid-March, and uh, we were able to use uh, some friends and different connections we had to kind of build a makeshift home gym. So um, just getting creative, trying to find different ways to work out that way, um, you know, just whether it's walking to a park so I can run there or... Um, you know, working out in the backyard, it's definitely a little bit different, but um, yeah, I just <laughs> try to find ways to be creative with the workouts. Yeah, I mean, I feel the same. I met my downstairs neighbor for the first time because apparently my at-home workout was a little loud while they were trying to work in the middle of the day, <laughs> but we're all adjusting. We're making ways, figuring out ways yeah. to make it work. Um, the good thing is, it sounds like from your perspective, and I know from mine, you know, while this is an inconvenience and there are different struggles, by and large, we're adjusting and we're fine, but there's obviously lots of families in our area that are having a very difficult time based off of finances, food insecurity, things like that. So a great thing with this front porch um, initiative is giving back to those people in need. So you guys want to tell me about, you know, in order to get your portraits, what did you guys do and how did you give back um, to the community? Um, so I know that we wanted to donate anyways, either, you know, either way, if we were part of this project or not, Cameron's been here this is about to be a seventh year, and I'm going on my fourth. So we love this community. We, you know, we built a house here. We want this to be home. Um, so we knew we wanted to do something, but it was kind of a cool way to not only donate, but get the word out to others to the same. Uh, we donate to the Heart Gallery. Uh, again, my good friend Jen Rensby is on the board of directors there. And what they do is they look over foster care children that are maybe in homes. Because it's during a time like this, the little things are going to, you know, not happen for them. So a cool thing the Heart Gallery does is, for instance, they might help with putting on a birthday party for someone in foster care. The little things that we take for granted, and they're not able to do the fundraisers that they would have normally been able to do if it wasn't during this pandemic. So it kind of allows an opportunity for them to still get the resources that they need uh, to just help their quality of life during this time. Awesome. And so you guys got back your prints from the project. What did you think of the final uh, product? They were good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 